Hi everyone, it's Steelbook Steve. Going to do a Steelbook review on my latest Steelbook here. This is going to be the Predator, the original Predator, the one with Schwarzenegger. I think it's the best of the series. It's a really, really good movie if you haven't seen it. A perfect amalgamation of action uh, and science fiction. And this one is coming to us from Film Arena. It's their Black Barons uh, edition, and it's their number 17. Uh, we're seeing here the cardboard slip. We're seeing some embossing on the text Predator, and we see a very intense Arnold Schwarzenegger there. So all you get there is the, the cool, uh, worn-torn, battle-scarred uh, protagonist there. There's the spine. Again, you've got some embossing on the title with the characteristic Predator writing. On the backhand side, really cool image. I think this is kind of a unique image to see here, uh, where you have Schwarzenegger kind of hidden amongst the tree, the moss, and you've got the characteristic, uh, you know, three-pointed laser uh, right at him, which looks like it's it was never part of the film. I think I don't remember that scene, but I mean the laser that, that on on him. But again, this is Black Bear's number seventeen, and on the bottom you're seeing the sticker four twenty of eight hundred or six hundred. So only six hundred of these were produced, and I got lucky enough to get one of them. So let's kind of open it up and check out what we got. So again, we're going to be very careful when we open it. What I like to do is always like to keep the uh, the plastic sleeve uh, just to doubly protect the steel book. And I know sometimes I can't see the back of whatever, you know, if it's a lenticular or something like that, I can't really see it sometimes, but that's okay. I'd rather keep my steel books and cardboard cases in pristine condition while still enjoying them. So again, we're going to take out the, uh, the steel book. There is a booklet here. So uh, great images right here. Nice one right there. Again, great contrast of the darkness. You can really see just his eyes, and there's almost nothing there. Uh, very uh, primordial, very very down and dirty there. Great image there of Schwarzenegger in his prime in the mid-80s. I mean, this film was made back in, I think it's uh, 86, 87, I want to say. And just a, an amazing film, uh, you know, in the height of the Muscleman era. That's a great shot of all the all the main characters there. You guys got got to, if you haven't seen it, you guys have to figure out who survives this one here. So great great images here. I'm always a fan of of uh, Film Arena regarding their their image choice, just because they they do tend to use the horizontal uh, format really well, and they do have really good images. I mean, almost all their images are really vibrant or interesting, um, dynamic. I know other people like other steelbooks as well, and I do tend to enjoy um, film arenas. Some of them have faltered um, recently, but uh, this one looks pretty good. I actually like the the uh, the images they've chosen here, and of course it comes with some text. Uh, you know, a little bio of each one. That's Carl Weathers, Bill Duke, Jesse Ventura, and so on. So you get a little mix of of all the main characters, all the cast, which is kind of interesting to see. There you go. There's all the players there. And again, there's that cool image of the Predator. Uh, and then we have the Steelbook itself. Now, the Steelbook, if we're talking about Predator and Steelbook releases or Digibook releases, I mean, this is one of the films, I think, that have had maybe the most releases ever. Uh, you can go to any single country in the world, and you can find a, maybe a different type of release. Uh, U.S., you know, Europe, India, uh, Japan, they've all had their releases. Uh, this one, I think, is one of the more latest Steelbook releases, their artwork, which I totally hate. I, I don't like the, the hues of the pinks um, at all. I don't like the way they kind of drew these images. There's been a lot of Steelbooks with this kind of type of artwork. I am not a fan of this kind of interpretive kind of Steelbook. I, I'd rather have a um, an image of the film something kind of interesting, something unique. I'm not a fan of this kind of artwork. Um, here you have the scorpion, you have a knife. Um, the background is really nice, but again, it, it, there's nothing gray in this film. It's green, it's, you know, it's it's very jungle orientated, and uh, the steelbook itself doesn't, doesn't reflect that quality. I, I'm not interested in the, the magentas and, and pinks and purples for this film. Um, this is a, a 2D, 3D film. Uh, which is interesting because they're providing both versions on one disc. Um, so we got to check out the special features later. So you'll see that listed to see if there are any special features that were ported over. 
but I do like the way you've got that predator code right there, which is really cool, I think. Very unique. You've got some art cards, and you've got the uh, internal piece of art there, which is kind of an interesting thing of the of the chopper, but again, it's there's so many interesting images of the predator. There's nothing here about the predator, uh, aside from that magenta predator there. Um, that could have been used, I think, to better effect. So here we have the collectible cards. Let's open this up and see what we got here. So again, quality is pretty good. Paper stock's pretty nice. And this looks like a rehash of the images that we had in the book, which again, I'm seeing an increase of with Film Arena, where they're starting to recycle images from the book and then porting them over onto these cards or vice versa. I'd rather see different images as opposed to the same images. But again, paper quality is pretty good. Um, here's, a, here's a new image here. This one is pretty new. <clears throat> the director and actor. This one here I think is new. This is a pretty cool one of the Predator. Really, really ugly. Got a, I can't quote that uh, line that Arnold Schwarzenegger says, you're one ugly mother, right? A lot of cool lines, a lot of quotable lines from this film. There's Schwarzenegger in his prime. You know, I'd like to see a Conan release. If you're a fan of Conan, that'd be an awesome release, but it's universal. This is Fox, and Fox, for some reason, does tend to release a lot of steelbooks through Film Arena. So there you go. That's the steelbook from uh, Film Arena. Uh, if you're a collector, that's probably the best version to go with uh, overall. But if you do like steelbooks, this one is this one here is from Play.com. I, I did a review of it earlier, but just... The artwork on this one is way cooler. It's unique artwork. It's it's exclusive to Play.com from the UK. Uh, I, I enjoy these type of images a lot better. If you look here, it's just way, way cooler, in my opinion, versus you know what Film Arena has. But again, if you're a collector, if you want the book, if you want the, the, the cards, Film Arena is probably the best way to go. All right, that's it for Steelbook Steve. Thank you so much.